if these two things don't look sketchy together, I don't know what does. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ruination Range. So it is absolutely freezing out today. It's about six degrees with like negative two wind chill. However, I have a passion for guns and a desire to blow stuff up and I've got a Monomarth in my ears. So if that combination doesn't keep somebody warm, I don't know what will. In my last video, I previewed the HHO generator, but today I've got a couple more things to blow up, so let's get to it. To start out with, I've got a couple small plastic containers filled with the gas, so I'll go ahead and put them on my grill igniter detonation station here. I've got about 20 feet of wire between me and the igniter, uh, in case anything, any of the bottles fragment apart, I'll be a decent a ways away, and I fully expect a couple of them to blow into pieces, so let's get to it. All right, so for some reason the grill igniter wasn't sparking. I don't know why, there must be a loose wire or something. I'll have to fix it later, but... So I guess we'll have to revert to ignition source number two. There's a little hole in the wall here, so I've stuck my candle through there and I should be able to ignite everything and I'll be protected behind the wall, so let's do it. All right, that was pretty cool. It shot off like a rocket, but it didn't explode. It was only 12 ounces of gas, so let's go bigger. Now we have 16.9 fluid ounce. I still don't think this one will explode. I think it's going to shoot off like a rocket again, but let's find out. Yep, it was the exact same thing. It shot off like a rocket and landed right over here. So we'll have to go even bigger. Next up, we have 32 ounce. I think this is going to be the one where it finally blows up, but we'll just have to wait and see. I think there's going to be enough gas in there to where the plastic in the bottle cannot handle it and it'll finally explode. So let's find out. All right, just like I expected, that one finally blew it apart and it was a pretty big explosion. It sounded pretty similar to my 9mm handgun. Just to recap real quick, so the first one we did was 12 ounces or 0.35 liters. Then we moved on to 16.9 ounces or 0.5 liters, which is a 42% increase in volume or roughly four thirds times bigger. Then the first one that exploded was a 32 ounce bottle, which is 0.94 liters or an 88% increase from the 16.9 ounce or about two times bigger. Next. I have a one gallon jug, which is about 3.79 liters or a 300, 303% increase from 32 ounce, about four times bigger. So I fully predict this one to explode into a bunch of tiny little pieces. Let's see what happens. All right, that one was pretty awesome. It totally exploded just like I thought it would. So here's kind of the pieces I could find. Just a bunch of small stuff. All right, the last one I brought out today is 9.46 liters or 2.5 gallons. So it's 2.5 times bigger than the last one. And this is pretty thick plastic and I still think it'll explode just like the gallon jug did. So you definitely don't wanna be anywhere near it. You don't wanna catch any of that plastic. All right, that one was huge. I should not have been standing that close to it, even though there was a wall in the way, because there still was a little hole there where something could have came through and probably done some serious damage. So it knocked my camera mount sideways. I'm not quite sure how it did that. I guess I didn't have it tight enough. There's a couple pieces everywhere. It bent the metal from my grill igniter pretty badly. Probably shouldn't have had my other phone this close. Knocked that over. And then over here where I was, this board was against the wall here, laying about like that, and it knocked it over. So that was a pretty powerful explosion. 
I'm impressed. So definitely don't stand anywhere near something that big if you're going to be trying this at home. Pretty awesome, though. All right, well, let's break out the guns and do a couple more. Everybody knows what Tannerite is, but it's pretty expensive. So I have an idea, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. My idea is to shoot these balloons right next to some iron targets, and then hopefully there will be some sparks that shoot off the iron that will ignite the gas. Not sure if it's going to work, but let's find out. So I brought down a 9mm and a 308 rifle. I don't hardly think the 9mm is going to do it, but we'll find out. I think the 308 is going to have a better chance, so let's give it a shot. Looks like nothing. For the rifle, I have the balloon behind the target because I know this bullet is going to punch straight through it. So we'll see if it'll ignite it. And I heard an explosion. I think that worked. Well, all right, there we have it. As long as you have a round going fast enough to penetrate some iron, you just put a gas balloon behind it and you have a pretty effective shot indicator. All right, guys, I've got one last thing I wanna do for this video, and this one's gonna be pretty cool if it works like I hope it will, so let's check it out. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching Ruination Range and go ahead and like and subscribe because I've got another video coming up shortly that's very similar to the last part of this one that you just saw.